Daniel, more than 90 pages lay out both the allegations by the NCAA as well as the response from the University of Memphis. Now, some chunks of it were redacted, but I was able to piece together some of what we know. 92 pages. That's how long the public records request was from the University of Memphis regarding the NCAA allegations against the men's basketball team. It's in reference to both the 2018, 2019 and 2020 to 2021 school years. The allegations laid out by the complex case unit or the CCU to be reviewed by the independent resolution panel alleges four level one violations and two level two violations, which are the most severe on the NCAA scale. One of the allegations says that a former assistant basketball coach computer hard drive was formatted on June 5th, 2020, and as a result, data on computer was deleted. It adds that the institution failed to conduct an adequate investigation into why the hard drive was not preserved. This is one of the allegations the university later responded to, pointing out that former coach as Mike Miller, saying the university worked with its IT department from June 5th to the 8th, the same time period, to preserve Mr. Miller's emails. And once it was determined that the computer could not boot correctly, the school suggested to the CCU that it would be sent to a mutually agreed upon computer expert for diagnosis, and the CCU refused. The university then calls for this claim to be dismissed. Another allegation says there is a pattern of noncompliance within Hardaway's men's basketball program and that Hardaway failed to demonstrate that he promoted an atmosphere of compliance within the men's basketball program. The university responded to this, saying Hardaway began reading the manual and individual packets immediately when he was hired, and he always called the compliance office if he had any questions and encourages his staff to do the same. U of M also says the CCU investigation team tried to expand its investigation into the football program, and the engagement with the university was, quote, combative, hostile, abusive, and contradictory to the NCAA's representation. Now, again, there were some chunks of this document redacted as this is still an active investigation. If you remember just over a week ago, the Memphis Tigers basketball team was eliminated from the NCAA tournament in the round of 32. Live from the University of Memphis, Kayla Solomon, Fox 13 News. Kayla Solomon.